Redbubble is great for an online place to put your products and sell them. They handle the sale and all that, but it's also nice if you can send people to your own website in order to buy stuff. So you can, using a couple plugins with your WordPress site, set it up so that you can sell your Redbubble products through WordPress. However, it is kind of a slow process in order to set this up because, of course, Redbubble wants you to use their site, not WordPress. So I'll show you what I mean here. Um, I'll do one or two, and then you can kind of decide from there if you want it to work. So plugins-wise, you're going to need three plugins. The first one is called Elementor. That's this one here. Next one you're going to want is WooCommerce. And the third one you're going to want is Woolenator. And that's one here. I'll throw the links and the names in the show notes below. All right, since I did not activate those plugins, let's jump back and activate them. Okay, now let's export some products from Redbubble. So what you need to do on your Redbubble page is you want to go to your portfolio, find the product. So in this case, I'll take my uh, first tee, then photography t-shirt, click on the little wheel, and then you've got this option here, promote product, select that. From there, you've got to pick which items you want to promote. So like I said, you can't bulk this, unfortunately. So in my case, let's go with the classic t-shirt. Click the little three dots and then go download images. So let's grab this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Jump back into your WordPress site. Go to your WooCommerce page. Go to settings. From here, you're going to want to set your currency and country and all that kind of stuff, like where you don't ship to. In my case, my site is in the UK, but you can switch to US dollars if you want. That's not a problem and then you want to save those changes. Next, we want to go over to products, and then you want to go add new. And I'm just going to copy the product name and all that from Redbubble. Set up a category. I've already got categories set up, in my case, t-shirts. But if you don't, you just hit add new, type in the category name. So you'd go t-shirts if that's uh, what you're doing. Hit add new and then select it. You can also do tags if you want. Uh, so in this case, I'll go clothing, whatever else you want. Yeah, it could be women's clothing, men's clothing. different spellings. Scroll down to where you've got product data and you can change this to external affiliate product and that's what you want because we basically want to link to the Redbubble product. So I'm going to jump back to Redbubble and there's my shirt. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste that into the product URL button. As you can see, we've got the button text. You can add the regular price, sale price. This is if you're doing custom products. In this case, 1930.
I'm going to scroll back up and we've got our product image and product gallery. So product image is going to be the main one that people see when they go to the site. So let's grab those images that I downloaded. Now you can go in and do your uh, description and alternate text. I'm going to save that and do that later. So for now, that's going to be my product image. And the other ones. And I'm just hitting control and selecting with the keyboard to select all three. And I'm going to go add to gallery. So that's there in my product gallery. Okay, now you can publish these now. Or if you want, you can save it to draft. draft. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and publish mine. And then if you do save to draft, you can publish them later. That way, let's say you want to do multiple ones and then um, publish them all at once. Okay, now we need a shop page. So what you can do is you can go to your pages, go add new page, type in store. Make sure, mine already did it here, make sure this permalink field is showing store underneath there for the permit link. If not, you'll need to edit it. Select the edit with Elementor. In the search widget field, type in WL colon add banner. This will give you the Woolenter banner. Drag that onto the page. So we'll come back and we'll edit that banner later. We're gonna keep adding our widgets. So we're gonna go back, click on the little group of squares. That'll take you back to the search. Next one you wanna look for is universal product layout. Add that one. And notice it started adding any of the products that you've got on there. In this case, the one, this is the one I want. I've already got other stuff on here, of course, but for the purpose of this, that first one is that one that we just did. Things that you can change here are gonna be your layout, how do you want it to look when the products come up. How many columns. Query categories, let's go t-shirts. So this is just giving me anything I've ta tagged as a t-shirt. You can add multiple if you want. So let's go t-shirts and um, long sleeve shirts. So I'm not gonna change too much. You can limit the number of products, excluding out of stock items is probably a good option. Although since it is going through a red bubble, I don't think that's gonna be too huge of an issue. Content settings, again, you can change the lookout. For example, maybe uh, you don't want the price for some reason or category, that kind of stuff. Ratings. For the action buttons, that's going to be these little buttons here, the quick view and select option. I'm actually going to change mine to style two. That way it's a bit more clear that those are there actually. And let's go with style three. Yeah, I like the look of that one best. You can adjust the position of them as well. So I'm going to go to the bottom. That way people can get a better look at the t-shirts. For the thumbnail styles, I'm going to change it to image slider. That way people can click on each image and scroll through when they want. All of these are really up to you as to how you want yours to look. And countdown timer, that's kind of sometimes you've been on a site and they're like, hey, you've been shopping this long, buy it quick or whatever. Uh, I believe that's what that word is for. I, honestly, I've never used it, so I don't know. Okay, so now we've got it set how we want it to look. Down here, you've got Publish. Okay, my page is live. Well, let's take a look. There we go. So I've got my products. I can click on it. It will take me into the description. I can look at it. I can go buy product and it's gonna then take me into Redbubble to buy it. So it's still not great in the sense that you can't add multiple items to your store within your WordPress, but this way at least people can go to your own shop 
and they can kind of then scroll through and decide what they want. Uh, I didn't update the header, but this should be pretty self-explanatory. You can choose an image from your site and have a banner image that says shop here, buy stuff through Redbubble, blah, 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 or whatever you want. You can put text on it, anything like that. So um, there you go. That's the basics of how to set up links to Redbubble from your site for your shop. And uh, from there, you know, you can create your own menus and that kind of stuff. That's a completely different tutorial.